Good evening. I'm Paul Duboy. Welcome to Locker Room's Cruising Invitational. We're here at the Vaseline Towers, the mecca of cruising, and it is electric in here, is it not? Co-anchor Roby Levy. Thanks very much, Paul. It's really, really exciting in here. Now, in just a few minutes, we're going to watch as a bunch of men compete for the affection of one cute boy. Now we'll see who comes out on top, <laughs> metaphorically speaking, of course. Well, Roby, we have some of the leading cruisers in Canada today. Oh, boy, some of these guys can steal diamonds in daylight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I don't, Paul. Why don't we go to the floor right now, Roby, and watch some of our competitors while they're warming up. Now, before we begin, let's go over the rules of the game. They're really quite simple. Even you couldn't mess them up. No roofies. Other than that, everything else is fair game. Well, we just got word that the cute boy has arrived. Our cute boy is named Ryan Hope. Now, Ryan claims to be a quarterback from Eastern High, and he's just at that age where finger becomes a verb. That's right, Paul. Now, so far, his entry has been cautious. You can tell he's uh, scoping out the room, though, reading the situation. Ooh, well, that didn't take long. Taking the first crack is Roger. Roger is a 29-year-old computer technician who enjoys classical music and poppers, but not at the same time. <laughs> And a shocking rebuff from Ryan. I mean, that was an amazing display of defensive genius. Well, but Roger really never stood much of a chance anyway. Not much of a competition. Next up is Blaine. Now, Blaine is going to attempt to use queenie humor and flattery to gain Ryan's attention. <laughs> now, Paul, is this some kind of reverse psychology? I don't know what his strategy is, to tell you the truth. Let's take a look. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. The agony of defeat, Paul. Mm. Up next is John Stetson. John's an ex-rodeo star who's known for his aggressive style. Good evening, I'm Paul Duboy. Welcome to Locker Room's Cruising Invitational. We're here at the Vaseline Towers, the mecca of cruising, and it is electric in here, is it not? Co-anchor Roby Levy. Thanks very much, Paul. It's really, really exciting in here. Now, in just a few minutes, we're gonna watch as a bunch of men compete for the affection of one cute boy. Now we'll see who comes out on top, <laughs> metaphorically speaking, of course. Well, Roby, we have some of the leading cruisers in Canada today. Oh boy, some of these guys can steal diamonds in daylight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I don't, Paul. Why don't we go to the floor right now, Roby, and watch some of our competitors while they're warming up. Now, before we begin, let's go over the rules of the game. They're really quite simple. Even you couldn't mess them up. No roofies. Other than that, everything else is fair game. Well, we just got word that the cute boy has arrived. Our cute boy is named Ryan Hope. Now, Ryan claims to be a quarterback from Eastern High, and he's just at that age where finger becomes a verb. That's right, Paul. Now, so far, his entry has been cautious. You can tell he's uh, scoping out the room, though, reading the situation. Ooh, well, that didn't take long. Taking the first crack is Roger. Roger is a 29-year-old computer technician who enjoys classical music and poppers, but not at the same time. <laughs> And a shocking rebuff from Ryan. I mean, that was an amazing display of defensive genius. Well, but Roger really never stood much of a chance anyway. Not much of a competition. Next up is Blaine. Now, Blaine is going to attempt to use queenie humor and flattery to gain Ryan's attention. <laughs> now, Paul, is this some kind of reverse psychology? I don't know what his strategy is, to tell you the truth. Let's take a look. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. The agony of defeat, Paul. Mm. Up next is John Stetson. John's an ex-rodeo star who's known for his aggressive style. Oh, well that's a penalty for John Stetson. That's gonna be 20 minutes of straight porn for gross indecency and now showing vag, vag, vag. Well, I can tell you that's a triple threat there, Paul. 
Now we have Michael. Michael is a waiter in a gay restaurant. He enjoys collecting collectibles. Why don't we zero in on the conversation? Let's. So, uh, I told you you had a beautiful body. Would you hold it against me? <laughs> well, we have a laugh. Let's see if we get a response. Not really, but uh, I'm thirsty. Can I have a beer? Yeah, I'll get us a couple. Just uh, hang on here, okay? Well, it's looking good for Michael. That was an incredible opening line. Lots of confidence, very direct. That's right, Paul. Even I'd go home with him. <laughs> Hold the presses, what is this? Pearl Harbor sneak attack! A competitor known only as Tad has come in and intercepted the boy. Holy smokes, they're going out the front door! They're, they're going, 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 and gone! gone. How about that? Unreal. I'm gonna need to see an instant replay. Okay, look here how Tad is just lurking in the background, almost biding his time. But look here, Tad comes in, he swoops in. Not a second wasted. It's true talent indeed. Well, one of the most amazing turn of events we've seen here tonight. The old swoop in and seduce while the other poor sap gets the beer. Hey, why waste them? Michael, bring them over. Oh, he's not looking he's so good. Down. We're gonna have to go to the field. Michael, tonight time didn't seem to be on your side. What happened? Well, you know, Tad came with everything he had, and I, I don't feel like I lost the game. I feel like he won it. And does believing that soften the blow that someone else is fucking him right now? No, no, not really. Unfortunately, in contests like these, it's impossible to interview the winners. And there's no point in inter interviewing Ryan. That'd be like interviewing the puck. And besides, he's not doing much talking anyway. True, true. Our parting guests will receive a bottle of Z-Best and a Porn Mag 3-pack from the variety store around the corner. Well, I want one too. Okay, well. Join us next week for the highly challenging couple looking for a three-way competition. Until then, for Locker Room, I'm Paul Dubois, and this is Roby Levy. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you.